Hey friends, welcome to another video from the garage. Today we're looking at the TagVit torque wrench. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how it's used. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, so let's take a look at how to dial in your settings. Now we're gonna be using the pounds because it just makes it easier with this specific torque wrench. You can see that it's in whole numbers, the labels that are actually on the main metal shaft here. We then have the ability to dial in specific settings using this black dial. But again, we're gonna be basing things off of the whole numbers that are already on the shaft here etched into the metal. So the dial is actually in increments of four. You can see it goes from 3.6 to zero. So again, if I'm twisting to the right and I do a full 360 rotation, that means we've gone up four pounds. Now you see how the lines are marked where they kind of are in the down position, they angle up and then go out to the side. That's so you can see the number you're on, but know that it's actually going to be locked in at that bottom rate. What I'm gonna do is pull down the lock ring. Let's go ahead and twist it to the left here, a full rotation. We come back around to zero. I'm gonna lock that into place. And as you can see, we're now at five pounds of torque. Again, the five is the readable number and the actual measurement goes down just a little bit. So once again, if I want increments, what I'm gonna do is pull this down. And as I swing over, I've just added nearly half a pound. If I continue up, you can see it's at 0 0.8, 1.2 pounds, and it continues up all the way around. At this point, if I lock it into place on the two, we're now at seven pounds. Again, if I go all the way around, it's gonna continue and dial in now to nine pounds. And that's basically how you increase or decrease based off of these specific digits that are here on the specific dial. This takes just a little bit of getting used to, but once you do it a couple times, you'll recognize how to get into place. At this point, we've locked it in, and now when we dial, we'll be able to hear that clicking sound when we hear that torque spec. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Okay, we're gonna start with this bolt right here. This is used to secure this switch infinity into the frame right here. And basically this is a five millimeter uh, bolt, and it basically is supposed to be torqued to 14 Newton meters. So let's go ahead and dial this into that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it over here to the right, and that is gonna put us in the lock position. So I'm gonna take this up, you can hear that nice clicking sound, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just rotate down. We're gonna to need to do that one more time to get to that full 13.8. And you heard that click right at the end there. So now if I try to do this again, you'll hear that click. And again, this is pivoting right here at the head to make that clicking sound that lets you know, okay, you've reached your torque limit. That is basically our 14 Newton meters to tighten this specific bolt. Okay, friends, so there you go. That is the TagVit torque wrench. Feels really good. You get a really nice torque and a really nice click when you hit uh, your, your limit on your torque spec. And overall, I'd say this does feel like it's made really, really well. So for the price point on Amazon, I think this is a good buy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to it in the description box below if you'd like to pick it up for yourself. We also have some other torque wrenches that we've done reviews on that you can find on our channel. Go ahead and subscribe if these videos are helpful because we make a ton of them on tools, on bike maintenance, vehicle maintenance, just DIY home experiences, just to make your life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you again on the next one.